Hello everyone, welcome back to whatever chaotic mess my channel is turning into. Because that's literally all it is, it's like one big chaotic mess at this point. But I want to start playing Sims. I've tried before on like a separate gaming channel, but I didn't really like keep up with it. But I want to change that. I love The Sims. I've been watching lots and lots of Plumbella lately, and she has inspired me to get in to simming. Now, I know that everyone is talking about, like, the eco-living pack. I do not have the eco-living pack. However, we have an eco-friendly witch here. This is our lovely sim. This is Miracle Bird Whistle. Now, Miracle is a hundred year old witch. She's never really thought about her powers much. She's just vibing. She's just living her life. She's just like, I can handle mundane magic. I can handle like snapping my fingers or twirling my finger and being able to make a cup of tea, but beyond that, she never really thought about it. However, our darling has now began to think, you know what? I'm immortal. I can't just spend the rest of, well, you know, whatever, just going and not really having a direction. So she has decided that she wants a mortal in experience and she wants to open her own store. That is the big goal here. But I figure her story would be best told in three parts. There are th three aspirations that fit what she wants to do. But first we're going to start with the freelance botanist. Now she also wants to go to university for the full experience. Now I did spend probably two hours yesterday building this um, beautiful cottage here for Miracle. She has her own little greenhouse because she loves to garden, she loves to arrange flowers, and she also has this back here. She keeps bees and she loves fountains. So she has like her own little secluded hedge and we are playing in Glimmerbrook. So we're kind of, you know, secluded from everyone, even though our neighbors are like right here. I mean, there's like five families in all of Glimmerbrook. So she's still kind of like secluded from the rest of the world and this is the front of her house. I'm not really a builder, so this was very difficult for me to do, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And then we can take a gander. It's not what I wanted. What is this one? That's the Sims 3 camera. That's... I don't remember how the Sims... Th that's how the Sims 3 camera works. That's right. I forgot about that. All right. So here we have... Uh, her living space right here is her little kitchen and her bedroom isn't very big and her fancy little bathroom it was really awkward to build in, in like an octagon but pshaw that's okay I really wish that we had like a crystal ball or something or like a fortune telling kind of thing that way or like tarot cards that way excuse me, she could have her own little, like, fortune-telling station here, but this will have to do for now. However, we will not be spending much time for the first part of this Let's Play in Miracle's beautiful cabin. Uh, we will be going to university. Now I know that some people are probably tired of university and everything, but I have not even in my own personal uh, playthroughs played with um, like going into the dorms and living in the dorms. It I just it's not a thing I've done. So we are going to be having our darling miracle here living on campus since she wants the full mortal experience. Let's see, and her traits. Are you live streaming? Why is she live streaming? My child. 
No. Morph. That's skills. And she hates everything. Already. Why do you hate everything already? Are you bored? What? I did not want you on the road to fame. My dude. I can never remember where they put skills. Oh my gosh. Or not skills. Traits? Is it traits I want? I'm looking for traits. Oh, here we are. I'm dumb. Okay. So, Miracle is a quick learner. She's incredibly friendly. And she's a vegetarian. And then the collector trait comes from the nature aspiration, of course. For me, the incredibly friendly trait comes from a pack I have, or like a mod I have installed where it has like an extended amount of traits. If I can find it again, I'll make sure to leave it in a link down below because it's come in so handy. Okay, Miracle, I know you hate to upset your 1200 followers that for some reason you gained, but my child, it's time to research universities. Stop chatting. I know you live alone in the woods, but you can't be doing this. So first we're going to look up Brock Foxberry, Broxberry, Foxberry, and then we are going to look up Brychester. Alrighty. So, I'm pretty sure everyone already knows by now, but Foxbury Institute, constantly rated as a premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is looking for students who dare to dream big. But... I don't think they have her degree at this one. Because there's organizations, which is Foxberry Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and Bot Savants, not Servants. Then again, you never know, that might be coming in a future pack, like a sci-fi pack, where we all just get taken over by aliens. Or not aliens, robots. Robots is where I was going with this. Anyway, distinguished degrees is biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy and distinct er, regular degrees are art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine art, history, and language and literature. Now none of those are quite what she wants to do, so hopefully Brychester will have the herbology degree. I'm pretty sure there is just a separate herbology degree. So let's see where our miracle will be making miracles. So University of Brychester holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning. Having taught every type of student, from royal to unknown, the university prides itself in educating both minds and morals. Thought that said mortals, I was wondering. Molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims, ready to enter the world and make a difference. And the organizations at Brychester are the Spirit Corps again, Art Society, and the Debate Guild. Now, Miracle has known herself to be a bit of a painter. I do have to go in and I have to modify her skills a little bit. That way, you know, because she's a hundred year old witch. If you're not learning anything in a hundred years, you're doing it wrong. But the degrees are Biology, Computer Science, Economics, Physics, physics, psychology, and villainy, and then distinguished degrees are art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine art, history, and language and literature. Now for some reason I thought there was a separate herbology degree. There is not. However, the closest I think you can get is biology, and I want to see if she can get into distinguished at Foxbury first. So, we're going to actually look for scholarships, and then, since she probably won't know what the fudge ball she's doing, she should probably, you know, since she probably won't know what the fudge ball she's doing, she should probably email a former guidance counselor, and probably review the scholarship info packet. 
because it's her first mortal experience, you know? Miracle has the best chance of earning these scholarships. Glimmerbrook residents of Glimmerbrook, Glimmerbrook may be eligible for this grant, not eligible for adults or elders. Scholarship value is 200 simoleons. Yes, and she's thinking very intently, apparently, about this. Knowing your scholarships. I really don't want to read this. Is that bad? I do that even when I'm like playing video games. I'm like, well, this is a video game, but I mean like Xbox games. I'm like, no. I don't have the patience playing phone games. I don't read them either. And I'm just like, I should probably, but I just really don't feel like it. Need based scholarships, career scholarships, residence grants. I mean, I guess they're all pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna... University, scholarships, apply for scholarships, and we can see if she can get the other one. I mean, the worst that they can say is no, you know, helping hand. Now, I did spend way too many simoleons building this house, but I figure, you know, she's like a well-to-do witch, you know, she has her, she has this creepy little lamp thing behind her, you know? Okay, I'm guessing it's just not gonna... Alright, so we're gonna apply to universities. And we are going to see which one lets us in. And for what. <laughs> Let's go, Miracle. I believe in you, my darling. I'm gonna be really sad when we have to move her to campus after all this time I spent on this. However, I know that for the last two parts, we will be here. Alright. You can also check her application status at any time on a computer. Alrighty. So. I have been recording for 15 minutes. I don't think there's a whole super lot for me to cut out. Maybe. So I'm going to leave this episode here. We have applied for universities. I have given you the rundown on our little miracle here. And I really hope that you guys stick around. I am so excited to play through her story and the ideas I have for it. So even though this channel has become chaotic, I really hope to more narrow it down. I will kind of be doing stuff like I used to do before with like shopping hauls and that sort of thing, but they will be a little bit different, uh, kind of more nerdy instead of, you know, more like fashion style beauty oriented. So, because I'm a giant nerd at heart, I have Harry Potter, which I know that's a big controversy right now. And I have our darling, darling Howl here, Mr. Pendragon, or Jenkins, or whoever else he wants to be because it's Howl. Anyway, make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up, and I hope that you subscribe and share it with all of your friends, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys!